I'm Peter Grace from Hastings Borough Council and my colleague Andrew Palmer also from Hastings Borough Council uh, and we're visiting Skidam uh, as part of the Eurotowns initiative. Uh, there are real problems that councils across the world are, are facing and we're here to explore some of the options and ideas that Skidam have identified and some solutions, more importantly the solutions that they have come up with to help solve many of the problems that we're all facing. In particular, a very interesting initiative for us is the ability to use land effectively to identify and manage other problems that all the towns have in terms of shortage of accommodation, increased housing need, and in particular, uh, to integrate communities uh, successfully uh, in these difficult and changing times. Uh, so what we have come here for in particular is the innovative solution uh, with regard to the roads and the sports facilities that uh, they have managed to develop successfully here, which we think are real solutions um, and very innovative. And we'll give transferable solutions not only for Hastings, uh, but elsewhere around the around the uh, Europe in particular, uh, and I think there are there are particular reasons why um, Skidam is of interest to us. There are there are um, there are a number of similarities actually between uh, between the towns and uh, which would be common to to other areas uh, of Europe. But in particular, we are tackling. Um, some of the same housing issues um, and uh, my role at Hastings uh, is in terms of um, the council's housing responsibilities, uh, Peter uh, is in charge of the finances. Um, the, the similarities are that uh, we both have um, uh, quite severe housing crises where we're not producing enough homes but we're both uh, have shortages of development land so we're both landlocked um, and we're, so we're b both really interested in, in you making the best use of the existing land. Uh, and the examples that we've seen where um, multiple uses are being made of the, of the land is of real interest to us. So uh, in particular, we're, we've been to see the sports facilities that have been developed over the road and how the housing has enabled that to, to, to happen and how that's helped finance the project. And we think that's, that's a model that um, certainly will inform us in some of the proposals we're looking at, but again, would be very, very useful to uh, to to other other uh, places in Europe. Um, so I think that for for me, there are three three key uh, areas of interest and three things that have really um, strongly come out of it in terms of the, what I can take back to Hastings, of, of, of which will help inform our thinking. I think one is that multiple use of different of, of land. So that where development land is in short supply, we, we can make more than one use out of that. And that widens the benefits, I think, to, to local residents and helps enable buy-in. Um, often development is controversial and not always welcomed by, by local residents. Widening the, the, the benefits of development, actually making it more appealing to a, to a large group of people, helps get that buy-in. And, and obviously... Um, does something to counter some of the objections that you're likely to, to um, uh, get through any uh, any development proposals. I think, um, secondly, uh, I, and, and more specifically, I think we're very interested in, in the financial modelling and the, uh, the way that you finance that and the in uh, innovation that's been used around that, particularly um, how you've managed to look at breaking the normal contract a client relationship and um, and look at uh, ways of again of working um, collaboratively with with the, with the developers and also with the local community to again to widen that benefit and to get buy-in from from local people so so those are really key issues I think um, the third one I think um, is that um, uh, the the early engagement of uh, existing residents in new development very very key for me um, in, in, in ensuring that people understand the benefits uh, that have a uh, an opportunity to, to shape 
what's happening in terms of development um, and, and that's very enabling I think for, for local communities. So all those I think are lessons that I can take back um, to involve um, some of the proposals and things that we're, we're starting to develop in Hastings and again I think um, a, a much wider use to a whole range of, of towns uh, in Europe.